Alright guys, how's it going? I just came off an absolute nightmare of a gig. Uh, one of these ones you pull your hair out. Now it involved things like dynamics running over a rig and dynamic painting. And I'm going to kind of show you one method that I actually used. Essentially adding an object constraint in a child off. Now this is pretty similar to making a paint of an object, but you have a little bit more control. And I'll give you a brief example of what I mean. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put auto keyframing on Every 30 frames, I'm just going to quickly move this. So something like this. And I'll do the opposite. So we have three objects. Example 1, UV sphere, and example 2. And I'll do the opposite here. So I'll just move this over here. So something like this. Where you can call me anytime. So nothing too extravagant, basic stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the UV sphere. I'm going to come to the Object Constraint tab and I'm going to add in a Child Of. Now you can see here Child Of. Now I'm going to rename this just for conventional reasons. Then I'm going to select the Target and that'll be Example 1. Now you can see what it's done here. It's actually taking the Location, Rotation and Scale and it's squishing the UV Sphere. So if we hit Set Inverse, that'll actually reset it. Now watch what it does. You can see that it actually follows the object. Which pretty much acts like a parent, but you can actually take off locations and things like this. And these can be keyframed as well. But here's the trick. I'm going to add in another modifier, a child of. And I'll call this example 2, just to keep us correct. And I'm going to target example 2. So we have the same problem, so this time we need to set inverse. Now watch what it does. It actually targets both these objects, so it's kind of been constrained between the two of them. Which might be what you want, but let me show you a trick. Now let's make sure we've got the object selected. And what we can do here is this little disable enable. We can actually keyframe this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly disable on example 2 and I'm going to keyframe it on example 1. Now watch what it does. Now you can see this one is set and this one's disabled. So what I'm going to do here is on frame 70. I'm going to disable it, and you can see the keyframes have been set here, so that's it enabled, and that's it disabled. So nothing will happen. So what I'm going to do here is, on example 2, I'm going to enable this one, insert a keyframe. Now watch what it does. When it comes back in, it should then parent to the other object. Now you can actually build upon this, just remember you can enable and disable the constraint, and this can be keyframed. And the reason why I do this rather than just parent to an object is, we can actually isolate separate channels here and we can keep building modifiers on top of modifiers so keep that in mind do me a favour guys it's that time again like the video and if you're not subscribed hit that button you know what to do peace